Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we're not reviewing a gun we are reviewing ammo not just any ammo it is the weakest ammo in the world they're made by Aguila they're called 22 Calibri they're 20 grain and they claim to shoot 420 feet per second haha ha, funny 420 okay we get it 420 feet per second 20 grain and I actually think it might shoot slower than 420 feet per second so I have the chronograph out today because we're going to chronograph it and test it and see how slow it actually shoots. Or then we're going to test it against some water bottles to see if it can even go through a water bottle. And then we're going to do a drop test to see how far the bullet drops in 25 yards. Because it's so slow and so weak, I'm expecting it to drop like a foot. This stuff is weaker than a 22 short. This stuff is weaker than a 22 CB. And if you don't know what a 22 CB is, they're really small. They're smaller than 22 shorts. Imagine a 22 short, but half the size, even smaller than a short. So that gives you an explanation of how small it is. These have regular 22 LR casings, as you can see, but at the top, it's like a pellet in the top of the bullet. Imagine a 22 casing with a pellet on top. And I honestly don't think it even has powder in it. I think that it's just the primer cap that's shooting the bullet out not even powder or nothing you'll see in the video i've used these in a couple of videos before and i think it's time for me to just make a video about them because i think they're so interesting because they're it's it's stupid i don't even see the point in it <laughs> here is an up close video of the box so you can see what i'm talking about i have to zoom out a little bit but 22 calibris 20 grain and down here 420 feet per second and up close see they look weird they're like uh let me get it in the sun. They're like pellets in the end of 22 LR casings. Really weird. I guess first we'll start off by using the chronograph and run it through the chronograph and see how fast it shoots. And I have no clue what to expect. I'm gonna assume 300 and something feet per second, maybe even slower, I don't know. But we'll be shooting it out of this, the Savage Mark II. We'll be shooting it out of this rifle. I have the nice one leaf scope on it, which if you guys missed that video, I think it was a really cool video. I was really excited to make it. You need to check it out. It is a really cool video. This comes with a night vision piece that attaches to the back, and you can see at night. And you can also record during the day and stuff, but the reason I'm not today is because it'd be kind of useless because I think the bullet's going to drop so low that you'll barely see it. Let's chronograph this thing and see how fast these go. Because I have no clue. I have not done this. This is the first time of me testing these out, like, legit. So let's do it. All right, so we're loaded. We're doing muzzle velocity. So let's see what it'll do. Okay, get it lined up as perfect as possible. Oh wow, that's even slower than I thought. I need to write these down. Holy crap, that is so slow. 257 feet per second, that's crazy. Let's try the next. We'll get an average and see how powerful it is. Ooh, that one was 357. These are very inconsistent, I can already tell. Okay. They smell weird too. 356. Three eighteen. Mm -hmm. And one more. What I'm going to do is get rid of the first one, the lowest shot. That way, you know, it could be something wrong with the chronograph. So we got rid of the first shot. We'll do five shots, best out of four. And what that comes out to is an average of 347.5 if we take the four best shots. So 347.5 is how many feet per second that is. Okay, now I brought out a BB gun because I was wanting to see how fast a BB gun would shoot through that. This is just a regular .177 BB gun. It's CO2, so it's not like lever cock or anything. It's not PCP, it's literally just CO2. Let's see what this does. 433. <laughs> Already way faster. But the BBs do way less. Now I'm going to do the same with this. We're going to compare them. That was an error. Another error. Okay, 
Is this ever going to work? Holy crap. Okay, this isn't going to work. Let me show you why I like this BB gun, though. It's full auto. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I got the foot-pounds of energy from both the BB gun and the 22 Calibris. And it's so interesting how weak these are. <laughs> the 22 Calibris came out to 5.36 foot-pounds of energy, which is literally nothing, basically. And the BB gun, because the BBs are so light, they weigh literally a fourth of these, but they go faster. The BB gun had 2.12 foot-pounds of energy, which isn't much at all. So congratulations to the 22 Calibris for being twice as powerful as a CO2 BB gun, which is one of the weakest BB guns you can have. 5.3 foot-pounds is nothing, because 22 Stingers, which is regular 22 LR bullets, they're Stingers, they're a little bit faster, quite a bit faster. They have 160 foot-pounds of energy. This only has five. These only have five foot-pounds compared to 160 in a regular 22 LR. These are 30 times weaker than a regular 22 LR. That's how weak these are. 30 times weaker. These are so slow. It's it's stupid. They're so light, so slow. These are, I don't even know what these are used for. Maybe taking out rats in your house? I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of another reason to have these. Okay, let's do a test. We're gonna shoot one of these bottles with the 22 using the Calibris, and we're gonna shoot the other one with the BB gun just to see what kind of difference the wound will be to the bottle or the opening or whatever you wanna call it. Let's start off with the Calibris. Okay, I've got a Calibri loaded up. Let's test it on this bottle. I have the camera scooted back a little bit, so it doesn't get wet, but it might still get wet. <laughs> and I don't need the scope as well. All right, here we go. Just enough to give me a little bit. Well, apparently it did go through. I was not expecting that at all. There is no shot of the BB gun going through. Okay, let's test against the red bottle. One shot. Let's see what it does. I just got splattered. Did the camera? No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Where did I hit? Oh, this one went through. Check that out. That's, I, I just got it all over my gun. Dang it, man. Now I've got red and blue everywhere. Well, since we're already messy. Oh crap, I did get it on the camera that time. Oops. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have a video on this too. This thing is awesome. It is so fun to shoot. Let's go see what we did today. Just a bunch of holes in it. Everywhere. Dude, there's so many holes in this bottle. Holy crap. I did, I'm surprised the BB gun went through. I didn't expect it to go through. Now I'm covered in dye. That's results. Next thing we're gonna do is I have a target sitting up down there. I was gonna see what the drop is just on the uh, 22 with the Calibris. Let's see how low the Calibris drop because I'm gonna aim at the very top. You'll see it, you'll see what I'm aiming for. Okay, I have five loaded up in here, five Calibris. Let's see what kind of grouping we can get. And this is about 25, 30 yards. You see the black dot that I'm aiming for. And this scope is pretty on, this thing. Wow, that is some drop. <laughs> Ooh. I had a dud. Oh, that one was higher. What the heck? What in the world are these things doing? I just watched that curve. <laughs> I literally just saw one of these curve 
looking down the site. Let's go check it out. I'll bring that up here and show you how low it was and how inconsistent, very inconsistent. I'm not that bad of a shot. If you watch my other videos, I'm pretty, I'm pretty decent. Here's where I was aiming. There's where they were hitting. Look how inconsistent that is. Like here's my hand. Keep in mind my hands are pretty big too. So I was aiming there and they were shooting about a foot low at like 25 yards. Very inconsistent. <laughs> this is the one I actually watched it curve. So it was more along the lines of here and it curved to the right. Weird. I'm gonna give myself seven shots to try to hit the big orange target down there hanging on the thing I made. I'm gonna give myself seven shots. I'm gonna try to hit the bigger one on the far right. I'll zoom you in. I, I know I gotta aim like 10 inches to a foot high, so wish me luck. There is now a dog on the range. Get out of here. Oh God, he's gonna attack me. All right, the range is clear. Let's go for it. The big orange target down there. Wish me luck. Gotta aim high. Oh, that one curved. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, we hit it. Congratulations. Oh, we hit it again. I found the sweet spot. Ah, that one was high. I missed it again. Last shot. And we hit it. Oh, we hit it. Just so you guys get that glorious shot. Yeah. So now you guys know how weak and stupid these are. You know what it shows on the front of this package? It shows a hummingbird. You're gonna go hummingbird hunting with these pellets. Not even bird hunting, a hummingbird. Hummingbird hunting. I could imagine you'd get a lot of meat from that. It literally shows a hummingbird. I never realized that, that is ridiculous. But even then you wouldn't be able to hit it. This thing has so much drop. But anyways, I hope you guys had fun in this video. I know I did. These are pretty ridiculous. These are like the stupidest bullets in the world. They're the weakest bullets that I know of. There are mini pinfire pistols and stuff, which are just like, they're a gimmick really. I don't even consider them bullets because it's more of a gimmick thing than anything. So this is the weakest bullet that you can get your hands on. These things are so weak and you got to see how weak they were and so did i i got to test them out they're stupid but anyways i want to say thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it these are really stupid i would like to try out some other weird ammo i like trying out weird ammo it's really fun but you notice how quiet they were they're really cool but i want to say thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video hummingbird hunting or as the british would say cheers <laughs>